In this video lesson here, we're going to be looking at finding and expressing percentages. So you've got your learning goal there, which I'll get you to copy down. But we often get these questions all the time, or at least these experiences all the time, where we need to find a percentage off a marked item. So you might be going shopping, it's got a shirt there that you'd really like, and it says 25% off this price, and let's just say it's $128 or something. You need to be able to find what that percentage is or what that cost is. And we're going to be doing a few examples of this. And the first one we're going to be looking at is how we can express one quantity as a percentage of another. So I've got two examples there, and you'll see I've also got two methods. We're going to focus on a similar scenarios like this. So let's just say you get an exam, you get it back, and you get 34 out of 40, and you want to be able to convert that quantity into a percentage. And we're going to do two slightly different methods here. Uh, they'll both get the same result, but you'll need to decide which one will be more easier for you. And the first one is we convert uh, method one here. We convert the... Uh, quantity into a fraction and then we multiply it by 100. So you'll need to know your uh, multiplications of fractions and there's a pre previous video we've looked at that. But the two steps are the following. So first you're going to write the fraction with the part amount as the numerator and the whole amount as the denominator. From there you're going to convert it to a fraction and then multiply it by 100 which is also a fraction. So what that looks like is this. So here we have 34 out of 40. So the part amount is 34 as the numerator, and the whole amount is out of 40, which is the denominator. So now I have a fraction, and I'm going to multiply that by 100, and if we had to write that as a fraction, it is 100 over 1. So now I want to cancel and simplify, etc. So now I can divide these both by 2 to get a simpler uh, equation. So now I have, bring that down to 17 over 20 times 100 over 1, and then I can cross cancel there because I know that these both have 20 uh, the opposite sides. They both has 20 as a factor. So how many times does 20 go into uh, 20? Obviously one. So now I have 17 over one. And how many times does 20 go into 100? We know that is five times. So now I have 17 times five. Uh, sorry, it's 17 over 1 multiplied by 5 by 1. And this is now an easy fraction for us to do. When we're multiplying fractions, we multiply the top by the bottom. And that gives us the answer of 85 over 1, which we know means 85%. Okay, so if you're confident with using fractions, etc., I recommend that method. Alternatively, we can do what we call the divide and then multiply. It's important to remember that... Um, out of sort of means divide when we looked at fractions previously and we the two steps that we do are you divide the part number by the whole number and then simply multiply it by 100. So if we had 13 out of 30 it looks something like this so if I bring up the calculator hopefully you can see that there all right so if I get our calculator and again our question was 13 out of 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 13 divided by 30. That equals 0.433 recurring. And as it says, finally, I want to just multiply that by 100 because we are doing percentages. And that's going to give me my percentage. So now I have, in this case, 43.33. I'm going to round it to the second decimal there. Percent. So it's an easier way to do it if you are confident of that or you do have a calculator around. All you can do is simply just divide the, uh, the two numbers together. So again, for example, 13 divided by 30 equals and then multiply that by 100 and that will give you a percentage, an easier way for you to do that. Now we're going to look at what happens if we have to convert um, different units. So what if we have different units and we need to convert to them as a percentage? So the examples are there. If I have 60 cents as a percentage of $5 or 2 kilometers as a percentage of $800. And the two steps you're going to do. Firstly, you need to make sure you convert the units so they are the same measurement or the same unit. And then you're just going to continue with method 1 or method 2 as you see fit. For example, I have 60 cents as a percentage of $5. Now I can't combine cents and dollars, so I'm going to make convert them both into, in this case, cents. So I have 60 cents, and to convert $5, I'll net, that is now 500 cents. So now that I have a actual uh, comparable uh, percentage or fraction, I can now do either method one or method two. So if we did method two in this example, let's get my calculator. Okay, so I've got my calculator here, 
you know, as again, the question is, as it says, I'll move it over there. Okay, we have 60 divided by 500 equals, and I can times that by 100, and that will give me my answer of 12%. So I'm there, I can write 12%. And finally, if we have uh, 12 kilometers as a percentage of 800, again, I want to convert them to the same unit. So I'm going to turn the kilometers into meters. So that would be 2,000 over 800. And I'll get you to choose whether you do method one or method two to answer that question there. But once you've converted it to a fraction, you simply go, as it says there, onto method one or method two, whichever you feel comfortable with. Um, so we want to go continue now with a, a bit more of a common thing that we will often see and that is finding a percentage of a quantity. So for example, as the example we gave at the start, it was 25% of a shirt that cost $128. Well, how much is that? And there's a couple of ways that you're going to do that. The first thing I'll get you to write these four steps down is you need to express the required percentage as a fraction and then change the of to a multiplication sign and then express the number as a fraction finally by completing the multiplication of fractions. Well, it's going to look something like this. We'll do a quick example uh, as we go now. So I'm going to do step one here and express the required percentage as a fraction. So I have 25 over 100. So I've converted that um, into a fraction. I'm going to change the of to a multiplication sign. Okay, so that now means multiplication. And then finally, I want to express the number as a fraction too. So it's out of 128 over 1. Okay, I'm now going to go through cross uh, simplify, etc. So 25 over 100 we know is also equivalent to a quarter times 128 over 1. And if I do my multiplication process through there, that will give me the answer of 32. So I know that 25% of 128 equals 32. If we have a similar higher number, for example, 155%, I'm going to again follow these procedures. The percentage will be placed as a percentage out of 100. I'm going to change the of to a multiplication, and I'll have 60 over 1. And now that I've got my fractions, I can cross cancel. So I have 160. I know they're both factors of 20. So I have 15 over 5 multiplied by 3 over 1. I can then again do my uh, simplifying and expressions, etc., which will get me to... Cross cancel here. Sorry, that's 155. Sorry about that. You give me 31 over 1 multiplied by 3 over 1, and that gives me my answer of 93. So again, just follow those simple procedures. If you have any questions as I've got here, make sure you write them down so we can address them in class. But the process is again is always as follows. So go through the four steps uh, using method one and method two when you're finding percentage of a given number. And any time you need to find a quantity of a percentage, you can use either method one or method two. Thanks, guys.